A few weeks ago, I shared three ways to do intermittent fasting, but some of you commented that I missed some of the methods. So here are three more ways to do intermittent fasting. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky from drbeckyfitness.com. I'm a college instructor of the science of nutrition. Intermittent fasting is a dieting strategy in which you adjust your daily eating schedule to include a period of eating as well as a period of fasting. In my last video, I shared an easy, medium, and extreme intermittent fasting strategy. I'll do the same in this video, only we'll do it in the reverse order. So let's start with the extreme, which is one meal a day, or OMAD, intermittent fasting. Simple concept to understand based on its descriptive name. You simply restrict your calorie intake for the day to one meal. Where the waters kind of get muddied is in your interpretation of what one meal means as far as the calories and food choices. Uh, seems to be a lot of opinions out there among bloggers uh, with the most extreme saying that calories and food choices don't matter at all. Just eat whatever you want as long as it's within that one hour window. Well, that type of philosophy can get really unhealthy really quickly. So let's look at what the research says about the topic of calories and one meal a day fasting. This study published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics compared different intermittent fasting methods and summarized the health and weight loss benefits of each. Now I will say that human studies have not been well developed yet for intermittent fasting. Most of the research is on mice, but there was one small study done that had human participants consume a set number of calories during the day, with the only difference being that half of the participants ate all of those calories in one afternoon meal and the other half divided the calories between three meals. Um, eating one meal a day brought fasting glucose measurements down, which is a good thing. One meal a day also improved cholesterol profiles and resulted in 4% more weight loss for the participants compared to when they ate three meals a day. So, uh, and that was even though the calories were kept the same. So one meal a day seems to have some health and weight loss benefits, but the participants did report feeling hungry. So you will have to deal with hunger if you're going to do this extreme intermittent fasting. Or you could increase the length of your eating window, which brings us to the medium level difficulty, which is uh, 24 intermittent fasting, meaning you restrict your eating window to only four hours per day, and then you fast for the remaining 20 hours. In the research, this type of fasting is often tested on mice, but um, the findings are always favorable with weight loss and blood work improvements. Uh, now the question then becomes, how narrow do you want to make your eating window? The research review study that I mentioned earlier shows that as long as you are creating a fasting window of anywhere from 12 hours to 20 hours, you'll get weight loss and health benefits. With that in mind, you might want to start with the easy way to do intermittent fasting that I'm going to refer to as instinctive fasting, meaning listen to your body and fast to your comfort level. Start by consistently fasting for 12 hours overnight, and what you'll find is that you will easily be able to extend your fasting period as your body and mind let go of that habitual pattern of uh, breakfast time, lunch time, dinner time. Uh, in fact, this study makes a good point when it states that the most common eating pattern in modern societies, three meals plus snacks every day, is abnormal from an evolutionary perspective. So in other words, we made it up. We just think that eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the right thing to do because that's what we've been taught. In reality, our ancestors likely only ate during the daylight hours, leaving long periods of fasting during the nighttime. Uh, if you are one of my 0123 years, meaning you follow my four daily habits for weight loss, doing this type of instinctive fasting is super simple to do. The three in the 0123 strategy stands for three hours before bed, stop eating. By doing that and then just delaying breakfast for as long as you can, you create an instinctive fast that puts your body in a fat burning state. So if you feel intimidated by intermittent fasting, then learn my 0123 strategy. Use it as your first step and then just grow from there. Okay, that should do it for us. Thanks for watching.